The year was 1968, and all was not well at Port Stephens on the east coast of Australia. Bathers were getting mysterious stings from blue and silver invertebrates floating in the surf that looked like little dragons and had an effect to match, leaving a painful reminder up to two hours after contact. Specimens of Glaucus atlanticus were collected up and sent off to the Australian Museum, where scientists analyzed their makeup to find that the stinging capsules on their surface, known as nematocysts, exactly matched those of the Portuguese man of war. These little nudibranchs, or sea slugs, had evolved a resistance to the venom of this well-known marine predator, capable of killing a human within minutes, and been dining on nothing less than its tentacles. Nudie is derived from the word for naked in Latin, and these soft-bodied little slugs would normally be very vulnerable to becoming dinner themselves out in the open ocean. By ingesting, storing, and recycling the Portuguese man of war's most potent nematocysts, Glaucus Atlanticus had managed to turn the tables on its predators. Its distinctive coloration now serves as a warning to anyone who dares try and nibble on this nudibranch, or, by mistake, brush up against it, since its co-opted nematocysts lie ready and waiting to pack a powerful punch. <laughs>